Hi guys, today I decided to talk to you a little bit about Ruth Handler. Ruth Handler uh, was born Ruth Moscow, and she was the 10th child in her family. It was in 1936 that she married her husband, Elliot Handler. Uh, very shortly after they were married, they had two children, Barbara and Ken. It was in 1945 that Ruth and Elliot decided to enter into a business with a longtime friend, Harold Madsen. The name of the business that they came up with was a combination of Elliot Handler's and Harold Madsen's name, Mattel. You guys all know Mattel Toys. Well, Ruth Handler, she actually is the one who created Barbie. And I'm gonna to talk to you here just a little bit about how Barbie came to be. Barbie's history is really interesting. I didn't know much about it until I started researching. Uh, so 1945, they're in this company, they're creating picture frames out of the woodworking company. And on the side, they're making dollhouse furniture. And the dollhouse furniture actually started selling better than their picture frames. A year after starting the company in 1946, Matson decided that he no longer wanted to be a part of the company, sold off of his shares. And Ruth and Elliot were able to take Mattel in the direction of toys. Um, they thought that that would be very successful, and it was. It was in 1955 that they started to run the Mickey Mouse Club TV show. And during this TV show, they started to create, uh, inject advertisements for different toys that they were selling. Uh, this marketing technique was new, and it took a, didn't take long for it to catch on, and other manufacturers, other um, companies were started advertising on TV seems like such a common thing for us today to see. So Ruth was looking to create a new toy. They were always looking for new toys ideas. And she saw her daughter, Barbara, playing with a paper doll and saw how limited the wardrobe was for the paper doll and how Ken had so many more toy options than Barbara did. So she wanted to create a 3D doll that she could dress up and put in high fashion clothes and her daughter would enjoy playing with. They went on a vacation to Europe that year. And in Europe, in a cigar shop, they came across a Lily doll. Lily was modeled after a voluptuous, promiscuous uh, adult tabloid character. Uh, she was used at bachelorette parties for entertainment, for gag gifts. You could dress her up in very seductive clothing and the men would take her wherever they were going in their pockets so their wives wouldn't find out or wouldn't notice. So while in Europe, Barbara, I'm um, sorry, Ruth had the great idea that she was going to bring the Lily doll home and see how her daughter responded, do some market research, give it to kids, see how the kids enjoyed playing with it. Well, uh, it was a hit. Barbara played with it for hours, the kids loved it. So it was in 1958 that she purchased the rights to the Lily doll and renamed the Lily doll Barbie after her daughter. Uh, in Didn't take long, in 1959, Barbie was introduced to the American Toy Fair and she sold more than 300,000 Barbies the first year it was put into place. Uh, it, became, it took off very quickly. Uh, Barbie, we know today, is a role model. We know that uh, she is dressed as astronauts, doctors, um, big career aspirations for young ladies to follow. And she has really developed into uh, an amazing brand. As far as Ruth and the company goes, it was in 1960 that the Mattel became a publicly traded company. 1965, Mattel became a Fortune 500 company. And Ruth was the president until 1975 when her and her husband were forced to resign from the position. And it was due to uh, the company was accused of falsifying documents. And they were accused by the US Securities and Exchange Commissions. At the age of 62, uh, Ruth Handler was uh, charged, convicted with a felony. Uh, later on in life, Ruth ended up with breast cancer and uh, she ended, she invented the Nearly Me prosthetic breast enhancers. 
uh, and continued to make a good living, a fortune off of that product as well. So Ruth Handler is an excellent example of a woman entrepreneur in the post-war American era. Uh, and her company, Mattel, we can see how far it has come from a woodworking picture frame company to a gigantic toy uh, surplus. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little about Barbie. Like I said, I didn't know much about her. I'm glad I got to work with all of you this semester and I wish you luck in the future.